Our world is confronted with an energy crisis on a global scale. Our traditional energy systems are polluting our planet with carbon dioxide and waste, and some resources will perish in the next few decades. That's why the demand for new forms of energy rises. Energy that is renewable and sustainable. And equally important, energy that is available to everyone. Because all over the world, 1.4 billion people don't have access to electricity. Without electricity, they have no light to read, no phone to communicate, no computer to participate in the world. They are limited in their economic and social development. After the rise of solar energy, wind energy, and hydropower, Planty introduces a new type of sustainable energy electricity from living plants. David Strick, one of the founders of Planty, explains how it works. Welcome to our lab at Wageningen University. This is where we invented how living plants generate electricity. The plant lives on solar energy. In this process, called photosynthesis, the plant produces organic matter. About half of this organic matter is transported via the plant roots into the soil. There, naturally occurring bacteria break down the organic matter. In this process, electrons and protons are produced as a kind of waste product. By providing an inert carbon electrode, we can harvest these energy-rich electrons. In our technology, the electrons flow through a power harvester to the cathode, where oxygen, protons and electrons meet to produce water. So, by easily placing two carbon electrodes in the soil, we can produce literally green electricity. For some people, this may resemble the Apple battery, which uses a copper penny and a zinc nail to produce electricity. However, the Apple battery consumes copper and zinc, which poisons the apple. So this is not sustainable. Plenty technology is different. We make use of inert carbon electrodes, self-repairing plants and bacteria, to make sustainable and clean electricity. So in short, Planty uses natural energy flows. All that is needed is light, carbon dioxide and water. In urban areas, for example, the roofs of houses and offices are extremely suitable. Equipped with this technology, these roofs always generate electricity, day or night, summer or winter. Sounds too good to be true? In Wageningen, the first green electricity roof has been realized. This is the first green electricity roof in the world. After years of development in the lab, we now build our first pilot plant here on the roof of the Netherlands Institute of Ecology. This is a modular system of 15 square meters and it should be enough to charge your cell phone, for example. The nice thing of the green electricity roof is that it combines electricity production with the advantages of a green roof. For example, water storage and insulation of your building. After this first pilot plant, we will start building complete green electricity roofs and they generate enough electricity to power half of your household. Green, clean and affordable. After successfully introducing green electricity roofs in urban areas, the ultimate goal is to accommodate every region in the world with planty electricity. A good start would be to equip existing rice fields with planty technology. But in fact, every kind of wetland is qualified. Even in problem areas where water has become brackish or is polluted, planty electricity is possible so that everyone in the world can have plenty.